Patients with sickle cell disease often have vaso-occlusive events, progressive vasculopathy, and chronic hemolytic anemia, which are associated with an increased risk of complications and early death. HLA-matched sibling allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is one treatment option, but its potential use is limited. Gene therapies using autologous stem cells represent another therapeutic approach. In this interim analysis from a phase 1-2 trial, 35 patients with sickle cell disease received gene therapy with levodopaglogene autotemcel, also known as lentiglobin. The therapy consisted of autologous transplantation of hematopoietic stem and progenitor cells transduced with a lentiviral vector encoding a modified beta-globin gene, resulting in the production of the anti-sickling hemoglobin HbaT87q. During a median follow-up of 17.3 months, median total hemoglobin increased and HbaT87q expression was observed in most red cells. Markers of hemolysis were reduced overall. Among 25 patients who met criteria for evaluation of vasoocclusive events, three had events after infusion. There were no severe vasoocclusive events. One third of patients had serious adverse events after infusion, most frequently abdominal pain, drug withdrawal syndrome, nausea, or vomiting. The authors concluded that one time treatment with lentiglobin resulted in sustained production of the anticycling hemoglobin HbaT87q in patients with sickle cell disease. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.